Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of Eye of Chaos. And in this series, we are picking a random investigator, building a chaos deck at arkhamdb.com for that investigator and playing the Midnight Masks scenario and trying to do as well as <laughs> humanly possible. So I again have all of my investigator tokens in this bag. Uh, I will remove each investigator already appeared in this series from the bag as I go. So for example in our first episode we had Silas. Silas has been removed and we'll see uh, which investigator we build a deck this time. So let's give it a good shuffle and pick one at random. And it is Marie Lambeau. So we are building a Marie Lambeau deck. So uh, let's hop over to ArkhamDB.com. Okay, so we are at ArkhamDB.com. I have selected Marie Lambeau. Uh, I have all of the carpool available so far to use. So we we'll just put the chaos button and generate the deck. So let's see what we get. Okay, well, uh, first off, we have some uh, hand assets. We have Occult Lexicon. So, Occult Lexicon is an interesting card. It allows us to uh, deal damage with the uh, Blood Right uh, cards that get added into our deck and hand. Then we have Scroll of Prophecies. Well, it at least uh, gives us a chance to find some cards we need. Uh, we have the Scrying Mirror. Mm, <laughs> maybe not the best for Marie, but um, it is what it is. Then we have Double Azure Flame, which is good, because at least that's a really good uh, or decent uh, fighting spell for Marie. Uh, then we have uh, Right of Seeking for investigating. That is really good. Only one copy though, so we might run into some trouble investigating, but Marie has a good uh, base uh, in intellect of four, so might, we might be able to snatch clues efficiently without any uh, investigative spells. Then we have Shroud of Shadows, some evasive abilities for Marie. Then Holy Rosary, which is a decent uh, Sanity Soak and also boosts the willpower. Uh, Arcane Initiate is a good synergy with Marie. Uh, we can get um, a Doom on Arcane Initiate so Marie can uh, make an extra action casting a spell each turn. Then we have Mysterious Raven which is actually okay. Uh, we can just grab a high throughout clue with that. Uh, Olvi McBride is always good, but we are pretty swamped in the ally section, so we'll see what, what ally we pick. Uh, then we have Arcane Studies. Well, it is okay. Uh, forbidden Knowledge, mm, decent. Then a lot of events, so we have a Dark Prophecy. Eldric Inspiration, uh, those two are not that, that high valued in my opinion. Uh, emergency Cash is okay. We need resources as a Mystic to play all of our assets. Then we have Ghastly Revelation, which we won't be playing because that will just uh, make us take a mental trauma and get defeated. So, no. Uh, then Hiding Spot. Um, might be useful if we run into too many enemies that we can't deal with. Uh, hypnotic Gaze, again, a fighting spell, or... Mm, yeah. We are getting a lot of these uh, get a random uh, special token and do stuff cards, so I'm not liking those. Uh, open Gate, <laughs> one copy, utterly useless. Uh, well, it is an agility and uh, a uh, willpower icon, at least. Uh, Peril Fates. Uh, not liking that. Uh, Temp Fate. Uh, okay, well, we can synergize with the curse tokens with the 
uh, Proud of Shadows at least, Trial by Fire, well, might come into use if we have the resources. Uh, we have the Voice of Ra, which is another resource generation spell. And Ward of Radiance, <laughs> we are only rocking three less tokens with the um, uh, Mist uh, the Tempt Fate, so I think this is a useless card. Then, uh, not without a fight, well, we can throw the Scrying Mirror at an enemy. Maybe that's useful. Um, fearless. Okay, uh, Horror Heal, nothing special. And Manual Dexterity might come into uh, use. Uh, Press Scient. Um, not that good but it is what it is and our random basic weakness is mob enforcer <laughs> so okay well that is the deck so i will next build the deck and we are ready to begin so let's get started okay and we are ready to start the deck is built and uh, as you might have noticed, uh, Marie's uh, deck building has that uh, you only get to choose five uh, cards from the Seeker and Survivor cards, but the uh, uh, Chaos button generously gave us more than that. So I am not changing the deck in any way to make it uh, so called legal because it's a Chaos deck. So if the um, app gives us or the website gives us a wrong kind of deck, that's the website's fault, and we are just stuck with that deck. So we are ready to begin. Uh, as usual, we are playing on standard, the ghoul priest is in the encounter deck. We have uh, the bound cards here for the occult lexicon, and our goal is to uncover as many cultists and defeat as many cultists to the victory display as possible. Um, so, let's draw our opening hand and see what we get. I'm hoping to uh, get something uh, to fight with. Uh, well, uh, I think we got a pretty good start. So we have Arcane Initiate, Azure Flame, a Mystifying Song, Parallel Fates and Scrying Mirror. So I am uh, Mulligan in those two, keeping the rest. So we get uh, Dark Prophecy and another Azure Flame, so we are pretty set up to fight. And we get the Arcane Initiate to uh, get our extra uh, spell action each turn with Marie's ability. So we're just qu uh, quickly uh, reshuffle the deck with uh, Mulligan cards and get going. So First thing first, we'll play the Azure Flame. Oh yeah, we need resources, of course. So I'm just putting two down because we spent three here. Then uh, we get four charges on Azure Flame. Second action, we will play the Arcane Initiate. It comes into play with Doom, so Marie's extra abilities online. I think uh, we're just going to investigate with our last action this turn. Uh, I really don't want to commit anything. I'm keeping the Mystifying Zone, so we can delay the um, uh, agenda deck from advancing one turn. So we are investigating 4 versus 2. It's a minus 1, so we grab this clue and that is our turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, uh, hold the rosary, and we gain one resource. So that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we start by adding a doom to the agenda. The threshold is six as usual. And uh, oh, I forgot to mention again that uh, we need two clues to use as an action to reveal a cultist from the cultist deck. So we still need one more clue for that. And counter card for this turn is uh, it's hunting shadow. So I am not giving up the clue. So we'll just take two damage, and we will take it on Marie. 
and that is that. So, first action, we'll move to River Town. It's a one shot location with one clue. Second action, we'll investigate here. It's a plus one, so we grab this clue. And uh, actually, last action, I think we will spend the clues so we don't risk losing them. So we take one of these and reveal it. And it's Peter Warren. So uh, Peter Warren, the occult professor, is a 2, 5, 3 health and 3 evade. Humanoid cult is Miskatonic, spawn Miskatonic University. Action, spend two clues, parlay, add Peter Warren to the victory display, and it has one victory point. So, we spawn Peter Warren there, so we know we have to go there at some point. And that is our turn. Uh, no hunter enemies or anything like that, so we go to upkeep, we draw a card. Unfortunately, it's Baron Samedi, so the Arcane Initiate is discarded. That is a real shame, and Baron Samedi comes into play, so uh, Revelation puts Baron Samedi into play. He cannot leave play while he has uh, less than 3 doom on him. Pause. When any amount of damage is placed on an investigator in Baron Samedi's location, place one additional damage on that investigator. Uh, free triggered ability exhaust Baron Samedi. Place one Doom on Baron Samedi. If he has three or more Doom on him, discard him. So we can't uh, use the ability this turn because we are already past those points. We have a uh, fast trigger ability actions. So next turn we need to try and pump out Baron Samedi out as fast as possible. So uh, we also gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, and come the card is a Mysterious Chanting, so place two Doom on the nearest cultist enemy, there are no cultist enemies in play, um, Peter Warren is unfortunately a cultist, so we have to put two Doom on there, so that makes it a lot more difficult to deal with Baron's Eddie. So I think what we need to do this turn is to move into the Miskatonic University and use Azure Flame two times to defeat Peter Warren to get rid of that Doom. So we don't Doom out, uh, advance the act uh, agenda too fast. So first action, uh, we'll move to Miskatonic University. Uh, it has two clues, and uh, Peter Warren engages us. Second action. I think I'm using the. Let's see. I think I'm using the Dark Prophecy. and using the Azure Flame to attack. So, we reveal five tokens and choose one. So one, two, three, four, five. And we pick, uh, we'll pick the skull. So choose one of those tokens, pick the skull, call this tablet, Elder Thing or Auto Fail Symbol resolve and ignore the rest. So this way we don't take any damage from Azure Flame. It's a minus two because there are two uh, Doom on that cultist. So we are fighting uh, four against two. So we hit. Uh, we deal two damage. We still need one more damage to defeat Peter Warren. Return this in the back. Last action, we'll fight again with the Azure Flame, and this time we 
don't have any good ways to boost this, so two, four versus two. Oh yeah, and uh, actually, before I do anything else, I'll use Baron Sanity, just to get the extra action, and I'll use that to cast a spell, so we still actually have one more action to do, and come to think of it, I could have used that to play Holy Rosary before I move here, but that is a mistake, and I have to live with that, so let's see if we hit, so 4 versus 2, and it's another skull, so we just hit, and we don't take any damage from Azure Flame, so we defeat Peter Warren, uh, he's added to the victory display, and we still have one more action, which I think we will use to try to investigate, And uh, do I want to boost the investigation? Let me think. I think, uh, yeah, uh, we'll boost it by two. So six versus four. And it's a minus two, so lucky we lose that card, so we grab a clue. And that is our turn. No enemies, we'll go to upkeep. This readies, uh, we get the actions back. Draw a card, we get scroll of prophecies, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Now we add a doom. We are at uh, four of six doom. On hindsight, uh, we should have absolutely kept the mystifying song because now, hmm, if we add any more doom here, it will uh, advance the agenda next turn. So. I think we're just keeping this so we can uh, do the extra action, so yeah, my mistake there. Uh, encounter card is, it's uh, obscuring fog, so we are forgetting to <laughs> investigate here, no point in staying here, so. Uh, this should be actually this way, this too, yeah, um, having some locations the wrong way around from last game, so. Pardon that. Uh, we'll head down to the St. Mary's Hospital. It's a two shard location with one clue. Uh, we'll investigate. Uh, four versus two, minus two. We'll grab this clue. Last action again. We'll spend those clues to grab an another cultist from here. And it is Wolfman Drew. Spawn downtown, forced when Wolfman Drew attacks, heal one damage from him. And four fight four health and two evade. So we'll spawn it downtown. And that is that. Uh, no enemy actions, that guy doesn't have Hunter. And uh, just counting if we add one here before we our turn. So we have uh, five and six, yeah, it, it's not possible. So, yeah, we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, uh, Ghastly Re Revelation, which helps us investigate at least, and we gain one resource. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom. We are at five of six Doom. Counter card for this turn is locked door. Uh, that's the location with the most clues, so it is the Miskatan University. We are definitely not investigating there anymore. And that is that. So, first action, uh, I think we'll move to Southside. And Southside is a two shot location with one clue. Action search your deck for an ally asset and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. We are not doing that because we can't play it as long as Baron's Samedi is in play. Uh, 
Second action, we will investigate. Uh, four versus. Actually, second action, we'll play a Holy Rosary. And last action, we will investigate. And it's an auto fail, so no luck there. And that is our turn. No enemy actions. We will go to upkeep. We draw Ward of Radiance, and we gain one resource. And that is that turn. And next turn we will advance the agenda, and we'll have to start trying to get rid of Baron Samedi. So let's go to the next turn. So we add a doom. So we are at six of. 6-2 and that means the uh, masked hunter will appear so spawn engage with the prey prey most close hunter the masked hunter gets plus 2 health per investigator while you are engaged with the masked hunter you cannot discover or spend clues and it spawns on us unfortunately so encounter card is hunting shadow Okay, uh, we don't have any clues, so he, um, when any amount of damage is placed on an investigator in Baron Samedi's location, place one additional, so we have to take three damage, and we are actually one damage away from dying, so this might be a really short game because of Baron, but it is what it is, uh, first action, uh, we are evading this guy. I am committing the uh, Ward of Radiance to the test. And uh, we couldn't play Ward of Radiance because we don't have any bless uh, tokens in the back, so it wouldn't have cancelled the uh, Hunting Shadow. So we are evading 4 versus 2. It's a 0. At least this guy is evaded. Second action we will investigate and investigating four versus two. It's a zero. We grab this clue. Last action we will move here and we'll place one doom on Baron to get rid of him eventually. And that is our turn, no enemy actions. I'll just put this guy over here. So we ready up. We draw one card, manual dexterity, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. And counter card is <laughs> Cool Priest. Okay, well, all of the baddies are coming out today, so we definitely have to evade the bull priest and run away, but let's see, so uh, we don't have any uh, enough uh, charges on Azure Flame to defeat the ghoul priest, which is a shame. And we need to get away from the mass counter. So I think we are using manual dexterity as our first action. Evade. We are evading. Uh, oh yeah, I'm using Baron immediately so I don't forget. We are evading 5 versus 4. Is there any way to boost it more? No. Need to get lucky here. It's an elder sign, so uh, plus one. You may add one doom to or remove one from any card you control. Uh, of course, I'm adding to the Baron, so the uh, Baron is discarded. We get rid of the Baron, which is really good news. Um, the Gulbi Priest is evaded, and we also draw a card, and it is the Voice of Raw. So, second action, and uh, now we don't have the extra action for spells, we 
which I could have used to Azure Flame once. But it is what it is. I think uh, we will try to defeat Wolfman Drew by fighting with the Azure Flames, so we'll move here. And uh, we are at East Town, it's a two shot location with one clue. Uh, while you are in East Town, reduce the cost of each ally you play by two. Well, we don't have any allies to play. Uh, last action we will investigate here. So, four versus two, and I'm using the ghastly revelation. So, six versus two. Unfortunately, it's the auto fail, so we don't grab that clue yet. That is a shame. Things are not going really well for Marie, but that is. Uh, that is expected with the Chaos deck, so we are out of actions, this guy is here, we go to the enemy phase, the mass hunter hunts here, nothing else happens, we'll go to upkeep, we'll priest readies, we draw a card, we get the forbidden knowledge and we gain one resource, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Count card is on Wings of Darkness. Test Agility 4. If you fail, take 1 damage and 1 horror. Then disengage from each non night count enemy, engage with you, and move to the central location. So, this might actually be game over. We have no ways of boosting this, so we need an Elder Sign or a plus one. So, I'm pretty sure we are dead. We have 5 damage on us, so if we take 1 more damage, are dead. It's a minus two, so that is the end. So Marie is defeated. We drop our clue here. We were only um, successful of uh, defeating one cult cultist. So this uh, Eye of Chaos run didn't go at, uh, that well uh, at all. So we were uh, nearly going here to defeat the uh, wolf and drew by fighting twice we could have boosted that with uh, a couple of cards to maybe maybe uh, defeat him but there were also the possibility that we would have drawn up uh, elder sign plus one or zero and taken one damage and actually we would have needed minus ones to uh, hit and drew with the boost cards. So, unfortunate end to Marie, but uh, that is Eye of Chaos for you. Uh, it might go uh, well or it might not go well. So, this time we only got um, one experience, so not that great of a run. One cultist down, so yeah. I think uh, next time I'm hoping we get a better deck for the next investigator. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.